Hello, this video is to describe how I took off the fence rails in order to get some construction equipment through. I tried some of the methods they describe on the internet and uh, they didn't work for me. So I made a tool and I'm here to show you what it looks like. Today we're going to talk about removing the fence rails from a vinyl fence. This fence has tabs on the inside that need to be pressed in in order to get the rail out. In order to view them, remove the, the cap. Normally uh, you might need to tap this with a hammer or maybe a piece of wood. Some of them are glued, these are not. One of the ways on the internet they talk to you about the way to remove those tabs is to insert a putty knife or a piece of metal in this groove in this spot so uh, you can get the putty knife over top of the, the tabs press it in and pull it out this fence I could not do that to once I put uh, a piece of metal on one side it was too tight I couldn't put it on the other side here's an, another reason why it was, this fence was a little harder this thing is heavy duty. The edge is about an eighth of an inch thick. What you're trying to do with the, the putty knife method is put the putty knife in there, put it over the tab, and pull it all out at the same time. That did not work for me. This is the tool that I made in order to push in the tabs. What I've done is I need to match up the thickness of the rail which is an uh, inch and three quarters and these are just a little bit less than an inch and three quarters so it puts a lot of pressure on the tabs. In order to get those uh, rails to slide out the best thing to do is spray a little generic lubricant on the joints allow it to slide out. Spray this side as well because this side needs to slide in as that side slides out. And uh, take the fence around, push it in so the tabs are away from the edge. And I insert the tool so the tongs are over top right centered on the tabs. Just press in. Attach this string so if the uh, tool goes down into the post you can retrieve it. We'll do the same thing for the bottom rail. Slide it in as much as I can. Insert the tool. Attach the string. Cover the tool with the string attached to the side. As you can see, you haven't caused any damage to any of the tabs. It can be reassembled again, no problem. Just to show you how to reassemble it, and it's no damage. Just line it up. Slides right back together, as good as when we started.